All right, before I get started, uh, this is every... What am I even talking about? Okay. It's Saturday. Um, before I get started talking about what I bought today and how much I spent for everything, right? And I did spend $297 for everything that you see. I got one item that should be able to pay for everything today. It was a really good score for me. Um, I'm going to say where I'm going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be at Lynnhurst shopping uh, parking lot um, where ShopRite is. Also, uh, let me put on some glasses because I'm blind. And I'm going to do this video in, in segments because there's diff different things I need to show. But there's a huge tool sale tomorrow. Uh, if you're near Lynnhurst, it's in Woodridge. Uh, my friend is running it. So if you're, if you're going to go to the Lynnhurst flea market, make sure you stop off at this one. He's got a tractor trailer full of new and used tools. I know you can probably read this, but I'm going to read it to you anyway. Out of business roofing company. No reasonable offers denied. From hand tools to large power tools. Don't miss this one. Sunday, April 8th, Woodridge, New Jersey. Here's the address. One Avalon Drive. He says, follow the signs. The end of the road to the trailer. There you go. That's my friend. Check his sale out. He's, he's going to be having awesome deals. Uh, he likes to buy stuff and just move it out. Anyway, here's what I got today. I'm going to do games first. Uh, then I'll probably do s jewelry. Then I'll do CDs. And then I'll do miscellaneous. All right, I'm going to start with the games, which I got in this bucket. <sighs> bucket full. Plus, there's other stuff, which I'll show after this video. And then I'll tie in the, the, the other stuff to the other video. Um, I'm really busy today, so I'm going to go as quickly as possible. Um, for $135, I'm actually $145 because I have this and I have um, something else which I'm going to find in a second. Uh, for $135 for games and $145, I got this and I got whatever will be right after this video. Uh, you'll see my buddy Video Gamer Daryl in that. I'll start off. I got a uh, Wii, uh, what do you call these things? Exercise board, uh, not legal for trade. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, Wii balance board. I like, what, what does that mean, not legal for trade? Um, these are chargers for a Wii, Wii Station chargers. Um, got some games like bowling, who cares. Uh, Your Shape, that probably goes with that, featuring Jenny McCarthy. Just Dance. Uh, I guess you don't need the board for that. Um, I got more Wii games. Oh, here's Brunswick Bowling. Uh, this goes with Jenny McCarthy. She's famous for... Um, being married to uh what's his name the comedian who doesn't do comedy anymore um but now he does paintings political paintings and he used to be on in living color and god damn it why can't i remember his name it doesn't matter everybody will know who i'm talking about it's john jim carrey that's it jim carrey that sounds right um okay before i finish with the rest of the games my wife bought this little stone and she's going to use it for for uh when she photographs rings and she'll she'll balance the ring off of there i guess it's a piece of quartz very pretty and then she got this really nice uh cuisinot scale i don't know if she's going to use it for food or whatever um that that was ten dollars for those two items all right back to games uh nicktoons unite some of these might be empty but it doesn't matter you know the, the good ones are in there so nicktoons unite finding nemo uh crash wrath of the cortex that's probably one of the more valuable games uh, Sonic Heroes, not very valuable, but one of the more valuable games. Crash Tag Team and Crash of the Titans. This might be part of a 1-2-3 set. No, it's individually coded. Okay, there was like a PlayStation made some kind of thing. This, Daryl, I'm probably going to give this to you because I'm going to make uh, a pile of stuff that I'm going to give to you, Daryl. I can't sell this. Uh, maybe it comes with a microphone. Maybe that's what the microphone is for. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. Um... This is a Wii paper. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. And Wii Fit. Okay, that probably goes with that. So I'm going to do a bundle tomorrow. I'm going to take a Wii to the flea market. I got a, a Sony PlayStation 1. The original. The one that came before the 2 and the 3 and the 4. Uh, okay, these are the better uh, Wii games. Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Party 8. Wii Play. And Twilight Seen It. All right. So actually, there was only like two decent games. And what I might do, I got to check the price on that. But I'm going to do a Wii bundle tomorrow for the flea market. So like I said, 135 This looks to be a pretty damn complete Wii. And uh, what is this for? Okay, I'm just going to say these are miscellaneous cables and cords. I might bring this for you, Daryl. I don't know if you'll need these uh, for something. Um, this might be part of the Sing It. That would make sense. You know, so I'll probably include this for you, Daryl. I got to sort through this stuff a little better. Okay, here's paperwork for the Wii. 
Okay. Oh, and this is paperwork for the PlayStation. I might just give this to you, Daryl. Because you can sell... Oh, no, well, maybe it goes in here. That might be for the PS2. All right. So, anyway, for 135 so far... Um, I'll get... I should get back at least 50 for the Wii. Oh, and then, and then I got these things. This will make it taller. I see three. There should be four. I'm going to have to sort through this stuff, you know, and decide what to bring tomorrow. Um, 135. So let's see. For the Wii, I'm looking at 50 at least, right? 50 to 60 with, with everything. And then the, the miscellaneous Wii games, another, uh, another 30, say. Another, maybe, maybe 40 uh, or something like that. So that's about 100 there. Uh, then I got this PS2 in the box. I got to check that. Uh, this looks to be oh, a PS2 Slim. Those are easy to sell, but I already, I'm already i already bringing a PS2 tomorrow. And I might have the papers and stuff like that. Here's the Wii. Oh, and here's that fourth thing that goes with the steps. That'll make it a little bit taller. I got to divvy this stuff up later. Uh, there's the Wii. So for the Wii, what I say, 50 for that PS2, at least 35 to 40. Uh, so in 90, 125. Um, the PS1 ought to be like uh, 20 at least. Um, 100. 65 at least. I got extra remotes and nunchucks. I'm only going to give them one. So I got an extra remote and nunchuck. So that should be at least another 10 to $15. That's 170 something like that. Uh, this is some kind of eye camera thing or something. I might just give that to you, Daryl. You could sell it. And then for the games. Um, for these games, the PS1 games, I think they're all in there, but some of them are BS. So these are going to be like 3 for 10, say. Uh, these are better ones. So that's like 10, at least, say 20. I don't know about this one. Uh, at least 30. At least, this one might be a little bit more. Well, say maybe this one too. So say like so 30, say like maybe another 15, so 45, at least another 5, so 50. And then these should be like 15, I think, at least each. So that's 45 and that's 90, which uh, I should be able to very easily double my money on what you see here. Plus I had other stuff that came with it, so I was pretty fair with this lot for the person. For the 135 that I paid uh, for that, I might even, it's like better than double my money is what I'm figuring and I'm being very very quick with that stuff you know uh, if you if I if you sell me stuff and it's games and I know who you are I'll be pretty damn fair uh, this box cost forty dollars I got it from my friend who's having a big sale I advertise the sale uh, I took a quick look in here for forty dollars I got it's actually a really clean looking Game Boy it's so damn clean if this works Maybe I'll give it to you, Daryl, depending if it's worth... It's got to be worth, like, maybe 60 bucks. Otherwise, I'll just sell it at the flea market for 20 25 And if, and uh, NBA Street, who cares, too? I don't. I think this is, like, a, a, a worthless game. AJ. AJ's like, well, which Turtles game is it? It's this one. The original one. I don't believe this one is, is worth more than, like, 12 or whatever dollars. Um, and then I got... I lost on Jeopardy, baby. Ooh, chess master maybe that's an eight dollar game but you know i don't know unless it went up in value and muppet adventure i didn't know how much this one's worth i've never had this one chaos at the carnival uh that's a mystery to me uh original super nintendo charger the good av two controllers i'm only going to give them one controller when i take this out a uh original nintendo controller and a super nintendo uh, was promised they were working, so I'm just gonna test them anyway because you know I don't. Uh, I just like to make sure everything works because then I can literally say I checked it; it's good. I don't think I'm gonna take less than 50 for the Super Nintendo tomorrow um, because it has an original uh, adapter, and those are worth like 20 bucks. Okay, I I'm gonna sort through things, and then I'm gonna uh, I'll, I'll continue on in the next part of this video. Well, actually, after there'll be another video, and then the next part after that. I'm gonna film this later, but video gave him a Daryl's here, and I'm giving him stuff. He's gonna maybe sell it for me, or check it, or whatever he wants to do. 
What do we got here? We got a Guitar Hero guitar. This is part of a $135 deal that... Yeah, this is a Wii uh, one. So who is this? Comes apart. Who is this? This is, uh... This is, uh, P... PS2. Okay. PS2. Here, let's slide this over here. Uh, somebody has to move their car. <laughs> so we have to do it. Okay, come here. Pull, you, pull, you pull way forward. You pull way forward. You pull way forward. I know. Let me get this out of here. I'm in the parking lot. This is funny. Everybody's leaving all at the same time. All right. So anyway, there's there's uh, another Guitar Hero that's for the guitar. Wii. That's a Wii. That's this kind of should be for the Wii. And then what are those green boxes? You want to just because uh, that's a drum set. Let's just rip it and find out. Oh, here goes your coffee. Let it it's go. empty. Let it go. Let it go. What is that? I don't know. What the hell is that? All right. Oh wait, these are like dolls or something. All right. What is that? Yeah, that's some kind of a fancy. Okay, bring it tomorrow or... Fancy. It's a doll. Look at that. Okay. All right, bring it tomorrow. Oh, I love Lucy. Oh, this one's valuable. Okay. Uh, check the other one. If it's good, you can list it. All right? Okay. Is the other one I love Lucy too? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so you can list it if it's good. All right, I got to go. Daryl, say goodbye. And say subscribe to me, fools. Video Gamer Daryl, Secondhand Daisy, and ASAP Zonk. And, and we'll do Naz, Naz too. Alright, gotta go. Bye. Hey, look. I forgot my here. I'll take that too. Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, dude. Bye. Alright, this is the jewelry that Marie got today. Um, she spent 30 18 and $3 on all the jewelry that she got today. And, oh, there's something missing. Let me see. If I can find it. You know what? I'll just shoot this and then I'll find the other two pieces that that aren't here uh, as I go through. I, the $3 stuff is, is uh, mixing its bits up with somewhere else. Okay. Uh, for $30, at the last sale we went to where I also found that beautiful vase, um, she got this really lovely, uh, it's marked sterling all over the place, and it's just a nice uh, Art Nouveau style. Uh, definitely antique. He needs a little cleaning. Some gunk in there. They looks like they they didn't know how they were polishing, but it's just uh, a sterling civil, uh, sterling silver segmented bracelet. Um, this these this was like thirty, and this was two dollars. So she paid. Uh, they, she said the lady said you can have it for thirty. You know, and this is just one of those dangle necklaces that she uh, normally gets. Okay, um, for thirty dollars. Let's see, this is the, I'm sorry, for $18. That was 30, this is 18. This is the nicest piece that we're in there. This is a sale that we went to later that we should have went to before I went to the Meadowlands and then went to the Meadowlands because when I went to the Meadowlands, I only found like one stinking thing. I got a, I got a bag somewhere. It's somewhere in the car where I got to find where it's going to be a black bag. I think I had to go back to the car and, and get the rest of it. But this is like a marcasite and it looks like jade silver uh, bracelet uh, segmented. This is that kind of Spanish... Um, pendant she likes these you know they they uh usually have like a gold wash or something like this she got a couple of stick pins i don't believe these are very special that one's enamel and this one just has a nice lucite center with kind of a star uh pretty nice these might be gold i don't know she didn't tell me but just the shanks and the hoop, the, the parts that go through the ear i don't know what you call it and i guess that's um a black stone like onyx uh this says something on the back it says uh okay this pin's gold filled so it's just a nice antique vintage um, with a red crystal gold filled uh, pin. Here's another what is most likely a gold f uh, filled pin or it's gold toned costume. I don't see any markings. Oh wait, there's some markings right here. Uh, okay, I've got like really strong glasses on and I can't make this out right now. But there's a lot. Of, it says Germany. It says it's gold filled. Okay, gold filled. Another gold filled pin. Um, these are most likely bone or ivory with, uh, for probably, probably gold. Um, I guess, what do you got? Is it shanks? The part that goes through your ears, for, it's for pierced ears. And, uh, this one looks, again, like it's 12 karat gold filled. Just a nice, uh, vintage pin. And then this one says something right here, but I can't really make it out. It doesn't go to a magnet, but I don't think it's metal. Uh, it's sterling. Right. 
And this is just like a, a segmented bracelet with, with interesting loops and whatever. Uh, here's the stamping. It's something company. No clue. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Okay, I'm going to add the other little piece of jewelry that she had onto that, onto the next right after this. All right, uh, this is the rest of the jewelry that she got today. This was the $3 uh, more that she spent over what she had already spent. Uh, just got a really nice old micro mosaic. I don't know if it says Italy. It might be old enough to where it wasn't hallmarked as Italy. I do not see it anyway, anywhere. There it is. Um, and then she also got this. It's, it's like a Native American Indian design um, copper cuff bracelet. And it says on the inside copper. And then some other small teeny hallmark. It has some wear, but it still looks good. You know, somebody's going to like that. She only paid $3 for it too, so it doesn't matter. I forgot about this game. Um, this game I'll just put in here. Oh, I'm going to take that Super Nintendo out tomorrow if anybody needs a Super Nintendo. Um, this was owned by Janie, as you can see right there. And um, th I actually bought this off of Nick. Nick was at the Meadowlands today selling with uh, Joey D. Uh, he sold it to me for five. He said, hey, what's this wor worth? I believe it's worth between two. I told him, look, I think it's worth 12 to 15. He said, hey, you give me five. I'm like, yes, I got that. All right, um, now I'm going to do CDs next right after I, I'll be right back. All right, now I'm doing CDs. And then this is the best thing of the day. I'm, but uh, I'll do it last, all right? Because uh, I'm almost done. Uh, let me just do CDs and then I'll finish up with that stuff. And I'll get these out of the way. All right, um, what did I pay? I paid 50 cents a piece for all the CDs in here. I paid uh, $8 for 10 CDs in here. And these came from my friend Naz for the flea market. Um, Nostalgic, that's his channel. Um, he actually wanted a Mega Man game. And I think he's giving me these in trade. So let's see what he gave me. You know, And then I'll do this. I, this is what I like. This is the stuff I pick out. Um, feel the joy. have no clue. Collectibles. All right. Seven Gone. That sounds like a kind of rock one. And the CD looks all right. So that's, this is the pile that I'll, I know I'll just take out. Crank it up. <laughs> just put that there. Look, I'm so, so powerful. My, my hand is so strong. I just picked this up and I cracked the whole thing. Backstreet Boys. All right. Uh, P Pry, Temperance. That might be kind of rock. Like, I don't know a lot about uh, 90s punk or, or hard rock. Listen. Seems like a compilation. Uh, Julia Darling. On... Uh, God's Child, aluminum for promotional use, just make sure it's in there. I got a feeling that's religious. Simple Kid, it's like I've seen this guy around. Hello, truck on, staring at the sun, the average man. I'm not really getting a sense of what kind of music that, guy, that dude does. Uh, Britney Spears, um... Uh, Naz, I don't know anybody here. <laughs> Who are these guys? Uh, something in July. Okay. Uh, Tide. REM. Um, our Nef 50 Vertical. Come now is a time. Meet with me. Your love is extraordinary. Let my words be few. We believe. That's got to be religious. <sighs> Hootie and the Blowfish. Remember Hootie? Uh, we let stars go. Why would you do that? Um, save Ferris. Hmm. It's like three songs on that album. Uh, Sugar Ray. They're okay. What's their song? New Direction. Eh, Sugar Ray's okay. Uh, let's... I don't know who you are. Pretty woman walking down the street. Nature of Rhythm. Voices, the musical. Um, Naz, I like rock. <laughs> 
the Doobie Brothers. Minute by minute. Luscious, Luscious Jackson. They're actually a pretty cool band. They kind of rock. I think they were from the late 90s. Um, I like some of their songs. They, they're a tough solo. Oh, who's this? Kiss You Back. Oh, Digital Underground. Hmm. Okay. Anybody remember Digital Underground? That's the guy that used to wear, like, the, the Destiny's Child. Hello, Sasha. There's a doggy. In uh, sync. I'm not in sync with them. Uh, garbage. Actually, Garbage is a pretty cool band. Uh, Home Alive. I don't know about these guys. Hi, Swavik. Uh, the Berlin Project. In your head. They might rock. Uh, White Man's Burden. I saw that movie. Uh, this is like a weird movie. The dog's trying to knock me over. <laughs> hey, 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 look. You want a pet? You want a pet? Look how excited she is to see me. My cat was never that excited. Come here. One pet. One pet. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let me finish. I saw this movie, and this is a reverse roles. In this movie, um, white people have to suffer... Um, it's like it's it's rever they reverse the races. If you're if you would be treated as if you were black, uh, except you're white in the movie. So I guess they were making a statement about uh, racism. <sighs> Who's this guy? Yusu Nador. I never heard of you, Yusu Nador. I'm gonna have to check these later just to see what those uh, sounds like. Black light violets. Don't know. Dink. I heard a blink 182. I don't know. That's a maybe. Aaron Carter. You got drug problems now. Uh, Dalmatians. Yes. I think if I want to fill up my in sync or, or like my very thin in sync collection, S Club Seven. Another bad creation. Mm -hmm. Chris Rice and God Street Wine. Okay, well, there are some in here that I might be interested in. The rest, I don't know what I'll do. All right, here's what I got that I chose today, my CDs. All right, let's see. Medusa, America's Greatest Hits, History, Chicago, uh, Duran Duran, Decade. These I paid like a dollar for. Cranberries, unfortunately, the lead singer of the Cranberries passed away. Cranberries again. Another Cranberries, uh, Ho He to Everyone, whatever. Catching up with Depeche Mode, if anybody remembers Depeche Mode. Uh, laundry Time. Uh, Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. I think that was one of their first groundbreaking albums. And Get a Grip. All right. Let's see. Okay. And these these I got for only 50 cents a piece. Now, I didn't even... These are so cheap and I was in a rush. I didn't even make sure they were in here. But I got U2, The Unforgettable Fire, The Beatles Tapes. 16 Biggest Hits, Johnny Cash, uh, Stained, Billy Joel, A Stranger, The Best of Alice Cooper, You Two, All That You Leave Behind, uh, Stained, again, Nirvana, Nevermind, uh, Dave Matthews, Crash, it was 50 cents, so, New Found Glory, Stained again, uh, Tekken 4, that's another game I got, I'll just put that, I'll test this out later, <coughs> goes in that bucket. Nirvana Silver. I guess it's the best of Nirvana. Uh, Acceptance Phantoms. I'm not familiar, but they look like they rock. Best of Bowie. Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. Sublime Greatest Hits. John Mayer. Verve Pipe. U2 October. Some of these are brand new. U2 Wide Awake. Aerosmith. Permanent Vacation. That's the kind of stuff I can sell. Nirvana. Guns N' Roses. Nirvana. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, Nirvana, Trapped, I think that's like kind of rock, Guns N' Roses, Nirvana, In Utero, Guns N' Roses, Lies, Guns N' Roses, uh, Spaghetti, whatever it is, Use Your Illusion maybe, uh, Appetite for Dysfunction, U2 Joshua Tree, and um, Jesus Mary Chain, they're pretty cool if you've never heard of them, 21 Singers, okay, that's all the CDs I got, I'll finish up the rest of the stuff in a second. Right, this is the this is the end of it. Uh, this is everything that's left. I'm gonna do that vase uh, the very last because that's the best thing I got today. It'll probably pay for every single thing that I did get. Uh, let me start with this tripod. It was ten bucks. I got this. This is a monopod. It needs to be clean. It's not in great condition. But if somebody just wants a monopod that they don't give a crap about, I'm not even sure if Targus is a very good name. 
um, and it's sturdy. I'll just try and get like five bucks for it. Um, this is where the money is, and it's not the tripod because the tripod has condition problems. I don't even think it's a very valuable one. It's uh, Ambona.com Wholesale. Never heard of that. Dynatran. Whatever, but this leg is screwed. It's missing a piece here. And at best, that's for parts. I may throw it away unless, I don't know. But this, this is what should be worth money. And even this isn't um, beautiful, perfect. Um, there's a little bit of corrosion on here. Maybe that could be sanded off or something like that. But this is actually a um, Manfrotto. And it's the 80, um, make that 808 RC4. Uh, and then this is basically a tripod head. You know, I can, I'm going to unscrew this right and Manfrotto is a pretty damn good name uh, and this was made in Italy uh, when it comes to tripod heads a little beat up like I said but for the ten bucks you know I can't go wrong and a good head that that's probably eBayable I'll check the price on that and um, if it's eBayable I might just give it to you Daryl you know if I can you know, I'm going to have to separate them because they'll look at this and they'll be like, uh, 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 and they won't consider that this is something else. But if this is worth 50 bucks or more, Daryl, I'll probably just give that to you. Okay, here's just a really big tiki. Um, on eBay, this is probably worth like 30 to 40 bucks. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to make, I might stick it in my showcase. This is Kahana Woods Monkey Pod. And uh, this is actually made in Honolulu, Hawaii. I only paid $4 for that. That was a sale when Marie got some jewelry. And then I got this. This is only $3, you know. And I don't even know. This is probably brass. This is probably even less than what brass scraps at. Maybe this is made in India. It's not really a fine piece or a big deal. This is the kind of thing I would sell for like 15 bucks at a flea market. I'm not going to take that out tomorrow, though. You know, I don't care about that. This I might stick on in, in a... That one I might, I might stick in my uh, showcase. All right, now this. i got to be careful with this because it's heavy. But here, first I'm going to put it here, nice and gently. Uh, there it is. This had a price of $30 on it. $30 price tag. And when people see stuff like this, they go, $30, that's too expensive. I'm not spending $30 for a stupid Murano vase. I take them to the flea market. I can't even get 30 bucks. And people just get lazy about it. Now, I actually bought the second day, day two, um, uh, when I went to the sale. And if I had been there the first day, I would have bought that in a second, right? Day two, uh, everything was half price and it was still there. I did not go there early. I went there like uh, two-thirds into the day, probably about like uh, 11.30 or something like that. And um, days like that, they end at a certain time. So anyway, what's so special about this vase? All right, this is, this. it's easy to see what's so special about this vase. This vase is signed on the bottom by a very famous uh, Italian glass artist. I don't know if you can see it. I don't really want to screw around with this too much, but it should be pretty clear there. Um, this word is Archimedes. Archimedes. This word is Seguso. That word is Murano. So it's Archimedes Seguso Murano. Art glass. He was a very important uh, art glass designer. Came out of Italy. Made a lot of uh, Murano, interesting Murano glass. This piece is nice. I don't know if it's one of his most stunning or whatever uh, pieces. Let me put it back here so you can see it better. What do I think this piece is worth? Uh, personally, I think this piece is worth from three to six hundred dollars. But I'm going to find out because I think I'm going to put this online Monday or whatever. Uh, I think I'm going to start at three fifty uh, auction and I'm going to see what happens. I think I don't know. You know, it depends on who's who's shopping or whatever. But I'm not going to start cheap. That's everything I got today. I think I already said where I'm going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be at uh, Lynnhurst. If I didn't give shout-outs already, uh, Bargain Barons, Nas, Nostalgic, AJ, ASAP, Zonk. Um, oh, I'm supposed to do, um, what is it? Oh, dang it. Hustler. But he spells his name S-H-U-S-T-11-E-R, I think. And he's also known as Wholesale Harry. He sells perfumes. He made a comment on the video yesterday. He says, like, hey, how come you didn't give me a shout-out? I gave you a shout-out. I remember it, okay? Um, uh, that video game of Daryl. Okay, that's it. Um, and nothing after this video. I'm gonna put my hunting live hunting that I did in in the other video uh, channel that I'm doing now with friends. We're calling it like Scummy Resellers. Okay, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Please come. Hey, Jace here. Anything? Uh, anything great today? Got some or? books.
Yeah, AJ's going to start reading, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to do it. I saw Nick, and he was wearing anklets, so I was busting him on his anklets. Yeah, like, what the hell? I, I thought only ladies wear anklets, but whatever. Um, I actually, the only reason so far that I've been here that I got anything was because John. He held oh, stuff for me. And it was, there was some PS1 stuff, there was some Wii stuff, and there was some, um, uh, nothing, nothing to brag about, really, but decent stuff, and some PS2 stuff, so, um, that's what I got, and also, Nick gave me this for, like, five bucks, he said, what is this worth, I said, probably 12 to 15, so, uh, he's like, well, what can, do you think I can get, I said, I don't know, he says, would you give me five, I'm like, yeah, I'll give you five, so I got it for five, um, that's what I got, uh, so, that's it, just books today? Somebody had, nothing you don't want to, want to show? I got, these are empty. There was people like all hoarding around some other guy. Nine bucks for everything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you know, that was a good some game. Dreamcast. Well, you know, it's nice to find Dreamcast. You don't find Dreamcast. Well, well I'm going to go to some sales after this, but I'm, I still got to go down this row, and then I think I'll walk over there. Oh, wait a minute. I paid 20 for the stack. Well, see, that's already like good Crash, because I see. Mario. But this is should be 20 yeah. or 15 at least already, right? Yeah, so, that's good. Not bad, dude. This is not in my deck, dude, but. Ah, whatever. All right, I'm going this way. Which way are you going? I'm going to come with you, I guess. Okay, why not? Really Let me turn this. So we saw Nick of Impersonation Films today, and he was sporting uh, anklets, Girly of all socks. things. And Brent it's cold here. They wear men's socks. I got, I got on winter socks, well, right? Real men don't wear socks that go under your ankle. So we were going like, what? why are you wearing those socks? And it's like, did someone tell you you have really nice ankles? And I'm freezing, like, but my feet aren't cold. <laughs> everything's warm. Uh, everything's my cold. My toes under. are always warm. Like, you're wearing girl socks. I know. Seriously, but... Eh. Whatever, I guess if he likes it, he likes it. I don't know. <laughs> he needs some real men's socks. Serious. I was telling him that, that real men wear black socks, like when they go to business and do business deals, and then they wear those little uh, sock suspenders. <laughs> sock suspenders? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? I know what you mean. Yeah. All right, anyway, let's keep looking. I haven't I found don't anything. Wear sock suspenders anymore. Well, they used to, businessmen did. But, uh, <laughs> all right, we're, we're still looking. I, I am found businessmen you know. Well, I'm talking about from the 60s, when, when guys were, like, serious guys. You know, they'd go around, smoke cigarettes, drink whiskey, you know, shit and like that. Woman eyes. Uh, sock suspenders. <laughs> they were, like, jerks. What the hell are you know? they called? <laughs> Misogynist. What? what? Uh, there's anklet suspenders or ankles, something no, like that. No, no, no. Whatever. Yeah, give it up. I'm giving it up. Goodbye. <laughs> or, um, like an arcade machine. Oh, I'm sure it does. I know you. You know what you're doing. But uh, he likes he likes to see the stuff just because either he saw it or he, he missed it. Like, he's going to come later, but if, if this is gone, you know, he'll know what he missed. Marie, what's so special about those shoes? They're my new crossing guard shoes. <laughs> She's a crossing guard. They're yellow. <laughs> I actually... We're, we're about... Well, he probably didn't get the joke. Um, might not even spoke English. Um, we're on our way out. And I didn't find anything. I found like one stupid game. And Nick, of all people, sold it. And also, uh, I bought a lot of games. The one thing I did ask about was some 30-pounder dumbbells. And I figured I wanted exercise with 20-pounders. And I have 20-pounders in the gar garage, but I need 30-pound. Uh, but I figured oh, I'll bump up to use the 30-pounders for tents, right? So the guy was like, hey, how much? I'm like, oh, no, I'm like, hey, how much? He's like, $20. I go, take 15 He's like, no. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so now he's going to be not have fifteen dollars and be bringing home sixty pounds worth of just dead weight Maybe I'll yeah. sell them. somebody else not me I'm, I didn't even want them that's why I only offered fifteen if I had one I would have paid the twenty all right I'm filming so so supposedly there's stuff from Nas I'm not gonna go through this just yet I'll just go like Nas gave me this whole box of CDs <laughs> yeah I do because I, I I'm lame and I suck no, I haven't. I'm not being scummy today. I didn't find anything good today. Except I did find good stuff, but I paid for it. So I'm not scummy today. This video gamer, Daryl. I'm really being scummy subscribe today. Subscribe to this fool. Here, let me show you something in, in the car. Maybe you want to, maybe you can do it on EV. I don't know. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm at the Meadowlands. And, I don't know. It's kind of cold. See, look at that pile over there, Marie. I was going to say that big, you, you, they probably can't hear you, but see that big pile of dirt over there? That's New York snow. <laughs> well, actually, it's New Jersey snow. Look at that. It's freaking black. Well, I uh, grew up in New York City, so Yeah, look at that. I, I just want to walk a little bit closer how filthy that is. You couldn't even tell if somebody peed all over that. It doesn't matter. 
Um, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of vendors here. Um, more than you would think. You know, you want to just walk in the outside room with me? Because why, why not? two people over here. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I got to go down to John anyway. Someone might have games for me if they set up today. Um, so anyway, it's, it's April, but it feels like February. You know, I'm not wearing gloves, but I got my winter jacket on. And I got bags. You know, maybe I'll find some. There's a lot of stuff here. A lot. So let's see if I find anything. I should find something, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll probably meet AJ. Maybe I'll put him in my video. People are still setting up. All right, well, I'm walking around again. I did get the games off of John. Uh, back behind this yellow van. He, uh, he did have some good stuff. I paid fair for it. I don't think I took any advantage. I had to buy some stuff I didn't want, but I still paid for that anyway. Anyway, let me look some more. So far, the only stuff I got is, is what I came here to pick. Where all activity is, right over there today. Swarm of people. Um, very excited, I guess. But I went over there. I didn't see anything I wanted. Uh, I did see some more people I know. I saw Alex. I saw, I saw um, his brother Sammy. And I saw Matt, another game hunter. Um, I got to go down that way. And then, and then I'm done. I'm out of here. It's just too cold today. You know what I'm saying? There isn't much to find. <laughs> That's, that is definitely a good look. <laughs> Size of the brain. Yeah, no, I see. Selling them. Definitely. But there you go. You can wear it. Wearable and art. Here's something that's like really cool, but then it's really sad. <laughs> I found twenty dollars on the ground. I picked it up. I'm like, ooh, ooh, like twenty bucks. I was really happy. Uh, but then the guy goes, "Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. That's that's my my five dollars." And I'm like, five dollars? Really? Because this is a twenty. <laughs> so he goes, "No, it belongs to the lady." And I'm like, "All right." So I go, "Here you go, right?" Because I'm not gonna fight it, like argue. I found it. It was a very good chance. It was but I did. He did bring it over to the lady. So I did technically a good you did a good deal technically but i was like god damn it <laughs> i wanted that 20 bucks but whatever that's karma yeah karma <laughs> kicking me in the balls <laughs> no. god damn it karma <laughs> come my way hey dunkin donuts that's where i am uh if you get a chance buy this donut it's actually pretty good it's called the the double chocolate caramel something like that caramel double chocolate it. i don't know i wasn't there whatever it's got caramel and it has twice the chocolate as the regular it has like dark chocolate shavings we had one yesterday it's really good i'm having another one today and this one is actually fresher than the one that we had yesterday so that's even better is that a garage sale? that's a garage sale right yeah that's where house we're going next sale. house for god damn it all right anyway we're going to garage sale